Prep baseball playoffs start Friday tonight. A tune-up for two of the Mountain's top teams, 9th and 1A Hendersonville at 7th and 3A West Henderson, according to Max Prep's polls. And for West, also senior night. Top of the third, Falcons up one zip. Hendersonville, though, makes a comeback. Caleb Williamson hits this deep fly ball to center field. Brett Baker back there. He'll make the catch, but it's deep enough to score Samuel Lynn. We're tied at one. Later in the inning, Hendersonville's Bradley Schmidt right back up the middle for an RBI single. Troy Carter scores. This goes back and forth. West wins in the eighth on the squeeze butt, five to four. They'll host a first round playoff game Friday, 6.30 against St. Stephen's. In the MAC 3A, they had a play-in game at Reynolds. It was Inca defeating Irwin, so Inca gets into the playoffs. Irwin is out. Inca gets in as the third seed. Big name coaching celebrities in the mountains yesterday for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes Golf Tournament, headed by former Duke Lenore Ryan and Franklin High football coach Fred Goldsmith. Held again at Highlands Falls Country Club. Over 100 players, celebs like Chan Gailey, Dave Bristol, Eddie Beatenbaugh, Carl Torbush, and other big names in athletics playing. Most of them there because of Goldsmith, a man his peers admire and respect, right? They're lying. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no, Fred's, uh, Fred and I coached together and both went to Florida. And so we've been friends for a long time, and he's so genuine. That's what makes Fred unique. He is so genuine. You know where his heart is, you know where his commitment is. The thing I've always liked about Fred is he's straightforward, very, very honest, and uh, there is no sugar coating it. Fred Goldsmith, the good man. Asheville Tourist scores seven in the first to put this away at Augusta. Dave Dahl batted twice in the inning, had three RBIs in the frame. Eddie Butler, terrific six innings, no earned runs, struck out five. He gets the victory. He's three and one. Tourist idle on Wednesday. They'll be back home Thursday against Kannapolis.